today I'm going to be talking about my 20 week update. I'm doing this a little bit later than 20 weeks, but I still have all my notes and everything from 20 weeks and I have my bump pictures from 20 weeks. So let's get into the video. I know there's a rocking chair right behind me and I'm sitting on the floor, so you'll probably think, why am I on the floor and not in the chair? But I've been sitting in a chair all day at work and it just feels nice to sit on the floor. We're gonna go ahead and say the exciting news because I just can't go the whole video without saying the gender and the name and everything. We went at 20 weeks and found out the gender of our baby. We had our first ultrasound and we are so excited to announce that we have a little baby girl. Chip thought it was a boy the whole time. Um, he was convinced it was a boy. I started out with a girl thinking it was a girl and then I moved over to thinking it was a boy and then I really didn't know because I felt like it could be either. When we went into get our ultrasound, we were both, we didn't really know what to expect, but right before she typed uh, the gender on the screen, we both thought, girl, that was really exciting. So we're gonna have a little baby girl. We're so excited. Her name will be Nora Tandy Henderson. We have loved that name since before we found out we were pregnant. We love Nora Jones music, and I just always have loved the name Nora. And then her middle name will be Tandy, and that is a family name on my mom's side. That was actually a name that my parents had in the books for me as a possibility. My mom's brother passed away when he was 18, 17 or 18, I believe 18 and his name was William Jonathan Tandy, and so my parents named my two older brothers William and Jonathan, and they were looking at naming me Tandy, but my dad and my both my parents just really loved the name Madison. I was given the name Madison, but I have always loved the name Tandy and just thought it was a really special name, and so that's gonna be her middle name, so Nora Tandy Henderson. I'm gonna show y'all some pictures. So this is her. Let me just say, she was the wiggliest thing. And for the first 30, 40 minutes of the ultrasound, they couldn't get her profile. They couldn't get the sex of the baby. They couldn't get anything. Every time they would get right on top of her to be, be able to measure or see things, she would move around. Of course, you have to drink a lot of water when you have an ultrasound. So I really had to use the bathroom. I just need to put my hair back because I'm touching it so much. But I have really had to use the bathroom at that point because they're pushing on you with that little ultrasound thing and my bladder was full. Uh, she let me go use the bathroom to see if baby would move or calm down and she did whenever I came back. She literally was laying with one of her arms behind her head and her hand was right here and then her ankles were crossed. It was really sweet and you can see it in here. She's like was like laying in like a hammock position. Look at that nose and those lips. I'm so excited. So those are the ones saying it was a girl. There's another profile picture. It's her little fingers. There you can see the fingers better. Mm, look at the fingers. Here's some more fingers. But these were her little legs crossed. Those are her knees and her ankles and her little ankles were crossed. It was so sweet. I just, I'm so excited. I cannot get over how sweet these are. So, now that that exciting news is out of the way, I can actually say she and say Nora. Anyways, she moves all the time, so I wonder what kind of personality she's gonna have when she's here because she just moves constantly all the time, and they're not just small movements. They're pretty out there. It feels like she's literally punching me from every angle. It's crazy, but it's exciting, and I love it. I just feel like she's constantly reminding me that she's there, so 
it's really sweet. Something else that I have experienced now that I haven't experienced up until now is I get Charlie horses really bad now in the middle of the night. My calves, oh, they're so bad to wear. I'll have the pain for the next day or two in my leg. Oh, I'm so out of breath. So I use magnesium oil and rub it on my calves in the mornings and sometimes before I go to bed and it helps so much. It alleviates the pain, soothes your muscles. It's just a really good oil to have in general. Love that and I use that a lot. It's going to record our reactions to finding out the gender. You had to wear masks, so I just didn't record it. We could barely hear each other through the mask and then you couldn't really see our faces in it. It just didn't work out. I'm sad that our reactions weren't recorded, but we were both so excited we both were dying laughing we could not believe it but that's what we do like me and chip in, in like big life events like at our wedding i cried with my dad and with my mom and like my nana a little bit before we got married because it was just a sweet time whenever we i actually got married like neither of us cried at all we laughed the entire time how it happened like when we got pregnant we laughed <laughs> i never cried about it and the same when we found out she was a girl could stop laughing and I guess that's our way of <laughs> excitement and emotion and everything but I'm sure I am going to cry when she actually comes into the world that's gonna be oh I'm so excited I'm really really excited um, something else I've been doing is I've been putting vitamin E oil on my belly every night it has helped me so much my stomach was starting to get really really itchy especially around my belly button so i've started putting that on a lot and i really like it i don't have any stretch marks at the moment we'll see what happens i'm only 20 weeks i'm sure the extreme stretch marks and things don't come so a little bit later. I've been doing stretches at night before I go to bed. I'll either do a quick 10 or 15 minute prenatal yoga sequence or I'll just do a few stretches or five to 10 squats. I don't do anything crazy. I'm just realizing how sensitive my body is during pregnancy. So I am not pushing myself too much. I am not trying to overdo it. I'm going really, really easy on my body and on myself. I know five to 10 squats does not seem like anything crazy, but the next morning when my hips hurt so bad. I know part of it is just being sore but it was like a whole nother level of pain. I'm still doing them and it's really good to prepare my body for labor. I'm just not overdoing it or doing too much. I have to drink way more water than normal. Normally I get to around half my body weight in ounces but while I've been pregnant I've noticed that I need a lot more than that. My entire stomach starts to tighten whenever I need more water. I can tell that that's what it is. Maybe that sounds really weird, but I just can tell whenever I need to go guzzle a good bit of water because my belly just tightens and it's really painful. It's like this feeling of pain after holding it for a really long time and then using the bathroom and that kind of pain all in my stomach. Learning to drink way more water more consistently throughout the day. One of the books that I have been reading, it's anime or anime. I call her anime, but I think it's anime. Yeah. Anime Gibson's Guide to Childbirth. And I really like it because the whole beginning portion are um, birth stories, home birth stories, and also some hospital birth stories. And some moms that talk about how their first one was hospital birth, and then after that they had home births. And then it goes into the actual guide for childbirth. I haven't quite gotten there yet because I'm getting through all the stories, but I'm really excited about it because it talks about how to cope with pain, how to realize as a woman how capable your body is to give birth it is so capable and God created our bodies to be able to give birth in such incredible ways and how you can do this it's really really informative I really really like it a lot I'll have another video explaining more on that and home birth and our decision with that so our duel is gonna come this week I think this Friday and we're gonna go through some childbirth education a lot of that class was how to navigate the hospital system and since we're having a home birth some of that doesn't apply to us. I'm excited about going through that with her and how Chip reacts to it and how he takes in that information too because it's just really exciting to know that we get to do this together. Next is the bump date. The bump update. Here is my 20 week bump.
this has been a very great pregnancy so far and I'm just seeing it be a wonderful pregnancy and birth and postpartum so I can't wait to keep y'all updated in our journey and what's all going on thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye